Hello YouTube, this is Brazilos Waffles here, and today I'm going to show you my new 2012 sketchbook and my comic book that I just started today actually. I just have the cover done so far, and I'm gonna do the name after, but just the cover is done so far. Uh, my new 2012 sketchbook is just a hardcover case sketchbook, I guess, from Walmart. Got it for Christmas actually. So yeah. And this time I did a cover for the sketchbook and it's from a previous my previous sketchbook actually. I just thought that well I just needed an encore for this one. See if my art improved or not. And if you look at my old video and then this one, I'm kind of sure my art improved. Yeah. There's that picture. Here's this one that I did for the crazy German from Nazi Zombies. Uh, Rick Toffin, I believe. And I drew him in this one and it says, I'm not crazy. He said I was crazy. It shows a drawing of him with a little creepy face there. And, uh, for all of you who play Model for 3, survival mode, I drew a tango, or well, a suicide bomber, I guess you could say. Just the chibi version of him, I guess. The buildings burning in the background. I actually got this drawing idea from a song called Hollywood Undead City, for all of you who are fans of them. Um, this... I drew for a couple in one of the comics I'm making, and she says, no, he's mine. I actually took this drawing from a base of Bleed Man, and mine turned out different than his, but I'm happy with this drawing. Um, for all you Friday the 13th fans out there, I drew Jason from part 5, I believe, when he kills the couple in the car with the fence spike. So, uh, I like this drawing. I'm a fan of him myself. Uh, here's my character from my comic, my old character at least. I think I'm going to draw, like, a newer version of him, or just keep him like this, I don't know, but... This? This, I believe, is a Mimi and Junior kiss teaser from DeviantArt from Chain619, I think, something like that. Um, sorry, I didn't ask for permission for this one, but... I'm a big fan of Lead Man, so I just had to draw this one. It's drawn in my version now. Many people think this is how that part should have went in the comic, but to be honest with you, I don't really care. Whatever he came up with is his storyline, not ours, to change. So, yeah. Here is from J Dog from the band Hollywood Undead, the TV version of him. Yeah. Um, Nightmare for Christmas, I believe this character is from. And his name is Locke, out of the three mischievous little kids from. That movie you were trying to kidnap Santa. Bombs in the background. Just, I don't know, kind of a dark and awesome picture. Um, this is actually another competition I'm doing, or a vote competition I'm doing actually, of Hollywood Undead versus Three Days Grace. I am probably going to leave um, votes in the description that says, uh, if you vote for Hollywood Undead or something like that, thumbs up this comment. 
or if you like three days grace better vote up for this comment and I just drew a little picture for the first little comp for the first little uh, competition sorry that's my train of thought shows j Dog punching Adam in the face whap and then Adam says lucky shot asshole TV version of them at least. Um, this is from Hollywood Undead's old band. Well, old singer in the band. His name is Deuce. Now he's in Nine Lives, and I just did a little full sketch of him here. Another TV version of him. Here's another picture of him, actually, for uh, the name of his new band beside him. And here's the lyrics for the song, I believe, that's called Break the Walls, the chorus. Uh, people ask me, do you like Deuce, or do you like Danny better? And then I'm like, Hollywood Undead, Hollywood Undead fans like Danny. And some Hollywood Undead fans, like Deuce, but only a true Hollywood Undead fan can like both. So, yeah. Uh, here's a character sketch in my comic when one of the characters die. Sad little drawing, I guess. Here is another Toffin drawing from Nazi Zombies. And there's just this is also from Bleed Man, the one when with Minnie and she has a creepy look on her face, but this is the Rick Toffin version of it. I don't, I don't know, I like the Rick Toffin version, like my version, but eh. here's another terrorist with a uh, rocket launcher. Not bad, I guess. It's... All right. I've seen lots of terrorist drawings, and most of them are better than mine. But I like, you know, no one's art, but no one's art techniques are exactly the same. So um, here's a picture of me. I guess you could say when I had long hair. I just got my hair cut today, so now it's really short, but. It was like a drawing version of me. And everyone calls me Ridsdale, so I just did a little drawing of me here. So, and yes, I do do requests. If you want to request, just message me. And I don't know. Just message me, and in the description, tell me what you want me to draw. I'll draw for you, but. You know, that's alright. Uh, here's from Bleed Man. The Pumpkinator, I believe, the thing that killed many. But here's like the Reaper version of him. So, it didn't take long for me to do this drawing. I started working on this in science class, I believe. It's not done yet because I still have to add the details and the claws and his fingers and his hand, but that's just a rough sketch of him. Here's another one of the emo drawings, I guess you could say. This is all this guy's crying and there's one of the emo chickens holding an umbrella. Uh, that's all the drawings I've done in my sketchbook for now. Uh, here's the cover of the comic quickly. Just a quick little sketch of the comic. Outline. I still have to fill in the clothes and the details and the name. Oh, this is volume one. So, that's all I did over the Christmas break and everything. So, yeah. Until next time. Peace out, YouTube.